The latest Helldivers 2 patch claims to have made armor rating finally work, so in this video I'll be comparing the Trailblazer Scout armor to the Fortified Commando armor and testing how much the armor rating matters. And if you aren't familiar with the armor rating, they also updated the actual numbers on the armor ratings. Before this patch came out, the Fortified Commando was I believe 144 armor rating, while the Trailblazer Scout used to be 57. For the first test, I went in using the Trailblazer Scout armor. With the Trailblazer Scout helmet, I decided to use Scavengers for this test since they hit for really low damage, which makes the damage easier to visualize, and allows for a bigger sample size of hits from max health for comparison. With the Trailblazer Scout armor, as long as the Scavenger hit the torso or limbs, they very consistently did about 20% of my health and damage. This meant that I could take 4 body or limb shots before being in critical health. However, if I make it to where they hit my head hitbox, then their headshots suddenly do about 45% of my health and damage, meaning 2 headshots put me in critical health. The damage of the headshots versus the body shots stay consistent throughout all of my testing, and I didn't find any variance from this 20% or 45% number. After testing this damage, I moved on to the fortified commando armor, and I also used the same helmet. The Fortified Commando armor has a 150 armor rating advantage over the Trailblazer Scout armor. Again, I tested this against Scavengers to make sure the damage was controlled, and with the Fortified Commando armor, I took a lot less damage from the Scavengers. With the Scavengers putting me at critical health in 7 hits as opposed to the 4 hits of the Trailblazer Scout armor, and doing around 10-12% to of my health per hit. Here's a direct comparison between the Trailblazer Scout armor and the Fortified Commando armor. I also tested headshots against the Fortified Commando armor, and this was a huge weakness because it offered no protection against headshots. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two armors taking headshot damage. This stayed consistent throughout all of my testing. I also thought that switching the helmet would change something, so I swapped to the Bonebreaker helmet, and yet again the headshot damage remained the same. In other words, armor rating means nothing against headshots, at least not at this moment. I also did the same test against trooper automatons, and the results were very consistent with what I saw on scavengers, with a limb or torso shot doing about 15% of my health and damage, and a headshot doing about 40% of my health. This was harder to test than the terminates because controlling where they hit you and how many times they hit you is very difficult, but after testing for a while and watching back the results of my testing, these results stayed consistent. Body shots with the Trailblazer Scout armor took about 15% of my health per hit, and body shots with the Fortified Commando armor took a little over 9% of my health, which can be seen in this series of clips where it takes 11 body shots for a trooper to kill me. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the damage by 3 body shots. The difference in damage is pretty significant, but just like in the testing with the scavenger, the headshot damage didn't get reduced by having higher armor rating. While the body shot damage reduction is really nice, the fact that armor rating doesn't reduce the amount of damage taken from headshots will often lead to the same result of being quickly killed as soon as an enemy does start hitting you with headshots, making the reduced stamina and speed of having heavier armor not really worth it in my opinion, since pretty much every enemy is capable of hitting headshots and you will be headshotted consistently throughout normal gameplay. Even testing against the scavengers, they would somewhat frequently get a headshot on me even though they have one of the lowest hurt bots in the game. This only gets worse when you're trying to fight bigger terminids that have melee attacks that reach even higher. And the same goes for all gun automatons and automatons with melee weapons. Most of them just hit your massive head hitbox way too often. So unless they make it to where armor rating also affects your head, at the moment I don't think armor rating is really worth it. A possible exception I can think of is if you have an armor that has really high armor rating and also has something like explosive resistance, then it might be decent if you're struggling with enemies that have a lot of splash damage and explosives. That's it for this video, subscribe for more content like this, and comment any insights that you have on this topic.